Welcome. All right, what I'd like to do is show you how to uh, condense uh, this uh, logarithmic expression. And you can see this is a natural logarithmic expression, which is OK, it's just like our common logs. Um, so what we're going to do in this case is, again, using our properties of logarithms. The first thing, I'm going to do this kind of step by step. And obviously, when you're working through problems, this is very helpful to make sure you don't miss a step. But I'm going to show you a lot of the steps. Um, you don't always have to show exactly everything else. And you, know, you could probably combine a couple steps together. The first thing I'm going to do is when I'm looking at this, I want to work you know, using my order of operations, work inside the parentheses first. And I'm going to use the power rule by bringing my 2, my exponent, up first. So therefore, I'll have ln of x plus 5 squared minus ln of x minus ln of x squared minus 4. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is working from left to right inside my parentheses, I am going to use my quotient property of logarithms. And notice that when I have the, um, the, the difference of two uh, logarithms, I can rewrite that as the quotient of what I'm evaluating for. So therefore, I can rewrite this as 1 third ln of x plus 5 squared. I can, that's a perfect square, so I can factor that out. Or I'm sorry, FOIL that out. So it'd be x squared plus 10x plus 25 divided by x minus ln of x squared minus 4. All right. Now again, I can continue working on this. Um, and actually, let's see. Um, OK, yeah. Um, so again, now you can look at this and say, all right, well, now I have, I can use my quotient property again, where now I'm going to be dividing these. So therefore, it looks something like this, 1 third ln of x squared plus 10x plus 25 divided by x divided by x squared minus 4. But when we're looking at something like this, you know, this is a complex fraction. We're going to want to simplify that. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply inside this by the reciprocal. So if I multiply by 1 over x squared minus 4 times 1 over x squared minus 4. Now, by doing that, I'll now have 1 third ln of x squared plus 10x plus 25. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to distribute the x into both of those terms. You could also leave this problem with you out and without expanding, but I'm deciding to expand them. So that would be x cubed minus 4x. OK, now my last step is I'm going to rewrite the 1 third as a rational exponent. But I notice that 1 third as a rational exponent is going to represent um, the cube root of my uh, function. So therefore, I have 1 third. So therefore, my final trigonometric expression, I can rewrite. I'll just rewrite over here. Is that going to be ln? Now oh, let's write it one more time. So it'd be ln of x squared plus 10x plus 25 divided by x cubed minus 4x raised to the 1 third power. Well, when I have that raised to the 1 third power, what I can do is I can rewrite that as my cube root. So my final solution will be ln of the cube root of x squared plus 10x plus 25 divided by x cubed minus 4x. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is your condensed logarithmic expression. Thanks.